Today I'm going to be talking about everything we know about Accelerator's backstory. Since I did one for Toma himself a while ago, the link is in the description if you want to check it out. And if you would like to see a video about what if Accelerator defeated Toma during the sisters arc, then please help me get to 8,000 subscribers and I will get that video out for you guys. Also, don't forget to like the video to help other Accelerator fans discover the channel. Let's waste no more time and get started. Accelerator's past is shrouded in mystery. Who his parents are, or even where they are, is completely unknown. It's also not clear when Accelerator moved to Academy City, but he was definitely a young child. At this point, Accelerator was not even an Esper yet, so he wasn't known as Accelerator at this point in his life. At one point he had a real ordinary Japanese name. He recalls how many kanji characters were in his name, but in the present, Accelerator cannot remember what his original name was. But how could someone possibly forget something as important as their own name? This was perhaps due to the trauma Accelerator suffered as a child and the new identity he undertook as the new number one Esper, which destroyed the childlike innocence within him. Accelerator, like other children in Academy City, started the Power Curriculum program in order to turn him into an Esper and develop psychic abilities. It was soon apparent to the scientists that Accelerator was no normal Esper, with him possessing level five ability and a unique and extremely rare Esper ability known as Vector Control. It is also likely around this time that Accelerator's skin and hair slowly changed to white as a result of his passive Vector Shield blocking ultraviolet rays from the sun, causing him to develop albino features. His power was actually developed by Kihara Amata himself, a researcher within the infamous Kihara family connected to the dark side of Academy City. Due to the nature of Accelerator's power, he was sent to a facility known as the Special Ability Institute. The name of the institute and details about what occurred there was even sealed in a strict region of the bank, Academy City's comprehensive government database. It was officially a school within Academy City, yet it functioned nothing like one, acting more like a research lab for espers. The purpose of this facility was the attempted development of dual skill, the possibility of an esper being able to use two different powers. It was also notable for experimenting on child errors, orphans abandoned by their parents in Academy City. It is unclear if Accelerator himself qualifies as a child error, as it has never been explained if he was abandoned by his parents, or what exactly happened to them. The facility had a dark reputation for treating its subjects like inhuman guinea pigs, and was far more cruel and disturbed than other Esper facilities. That hell was rumoured to have a facility for disposing of corpses on the grounds. But the place was even worse than the rumours suggested. They didn't dispose of corpses there, it was the opposite. It was a garbage dump for the disposal of living human beings. I'm sure you've at least heard the stories, Accelerator described to Yomikawa. And it was through the failed experiments there, which often led to the deaths of the child's subjects that the conclusion was made that dual skill was impossible, although they still continued the experiments despite knowing their efforts were in vain. So that's why they used child errors, as they were more disposable than normal students with families. He left the institute around the age of nine, because the scientists couldn't even handle Accelerator, even at such a young age. Accelerator stated, even that hell found my power to be too much. Even those demons in lab coats were afraid of me. That's just the kind of monster I am. He was moved from facility to facility, including the Imaginary Number Institute, the Wisdom Institute, Akirigaoka affiliate, etc. 
never staying at one place for more than two months. Accelerator was undoubtedly psychologically tormented by this, as such horrors were normalised before his eyes. He was no normal child in terms of his esper power, but also physically and mentally. Kihara Amata also had a profound influence on Accelerator's personality, as it is heavily implied that Amata mistreated Accelerator while Amata was helping Accelerator refine and control his power into what we see in the present. And the time that Accelerator spent with Amata made Accelerator talk and act like him, both being quite unsociable, aggressive, and definitely psychotic. As a result of being alienated from other children all his life due to being kept in many different institutions, having Amata as a fucked up role model, and his power literally pushing others away, Accelerator found it impossible to have what any child needs, a loving family and friends. This is what Accelerator always truly wanted, despite being exposed to nothing but cruelty and suffering for majority of his life. While his power protected him from the scientists who wanted to mistreat him, it also made it very difficult for Accelerator to approach normal people. One year after leaving the Special Ability Institute, at the age of 10, Accelerator was attacked by two other children. Their bones were broken. Next, a teacher approached him. They suffered the same fate. Next, a group of adults. Then both anti-skill and judgement, using guns and esper powers. All of them were eliminated by Accelerator. Accelerator couldn't do anything but watch. He did not enjoy this with a sadistic pleasure. He only felt fear. Fear of his own ability, what he had indirectly done, and that the tragedy was continuing to escalate. Multiple unmanned attack helicopters and armoured anti-skill reinforcements were deployed against the ten-year-old child. Thus he realised it. His young heart realised it. If he used his fingertip to touch, others would get hurt. If he felt irritated about something, people may die. That commotion would snowball until he ended up fighting against Academy City, the world, and then everything would be destroyed. In order to prevent elimination, he had to seal his feelings in his heart and not show them. Bad emotions were dangerous, and good emotions could bring jealousy and bring about attacks. The way to prevent hurting others was to prevent himself from being moved by anything. If he felt irritated, others may die, so he couldn't let his feelings show. Only when he was like an ice person could he prevent himself from losing control of his powers and endangering others. Accelerator eventually was able to surrender and was locked in a cell known as the Special Class for an unspecified amount of time. Accelerator, as a result of everything he had been exposed to while in Academy City, became indifferent about the importance of human life, as death became normalised to him, and violence would occur wherever he went, due to other espers wishing to claim the title as the strongest from him. But Accelerator would pursue the idea of creating an environment where he was invincible, so no one would dare challenge him, so that he could live in peace and perhaps he would no longer be an outcast. This was why Accelerator was easily manipulated to participate in the Sisters Project. Killing helpless victims on purpose wasn't really something Accelerator engaged in prior. However, he was convinced that the Sisters weren't truly human beings, just mass-produced flesh and bones. Therefore, he didn't care about killing the Sisters at this point even if he did try to intimidate them, to see if they had the capacity to surrender, to test if the scientists were indeed correct. And Accelerator was also promised the ultimate end goal of level 6, after killing 20,000 clones. The allure of absolute power and invincibility he craved to finally live in peace, without having to hurt others ever again. There are still a lot of mysteries we don't know about Accelerator's past, I'm not sure if we will learn more about it in the future, 
or keeping it a mystery definitely has its plus side too. I hope you found this video informative and check out my Accelerator Powers Explained video for more cool information about Accelerator that you might not know about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.